out of sight, yeah. out of mind. Yeah. So yeah, this whole work from home, it's more convenient for us to work from home. I deserve to work from home. I demand to work from home. That worked for a minute, but what are companies really demanding? They, they, they need to hold people accountable and they can't hold people accountable when they're at the office and somebody's at the house trying to work from home. Google wants people back at the office. Uh, Elon Musk, listen, I don't mind you guys working from home, just not do it, just don't do it for Twitter. <laughs> just don't do it for, for Tesla. Yeah. Even Zoom, who created the work from home product and tool and service, even Zoom employees, yeah. they said, We're, you're coming back to the office. If you don't want to come back to the office, I'm sorry, we got we to let you go. Here's another thing to uh, keep in mind. If you're not showing up, guess who potentially might take your job? Artificial intelligence. Uh, Jordan, can you take a look at my screen? So Klarna says his AI assistant is doing the work of 700 people after put, putting the brakes on hiring. Clarence says his AI assistant doing the cool work of 700 people. The Swedish fintech said that the system was on par with human agents for customer satisfaction. Not everyone's impressed, but the assistant is another sign of the company's enthusiasm for AI. So AI is taking over jobs. And the biggest fear for a lot of people is that their administrative job, or in this case, customer service job, is taken over by a doggone computer. This is corporate America. It's brutal. And the moment the company needs to cut back to maintain its profitability, to satisfy the shareholders, to satisfy the board. The last thing that they're thinking about is your feelings about you keeping your job. One of the first axes to swing, areas of cuts that most companies will cut in case of recession or tough times is staff, especially staff members that don't bring in revenue to the company. The most valuable person in a company are salespeople, people that actually bring in contract, that bring in revenue to the company. Those are valuable people. But if you're just a support role, staff, and you're not bringing any revenue to the company, you are one of these short lists of departments or personnel that need to cut. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.